With no news yet from the team about the bugs and glitches in the gameplay for the new Sims 4 wedding pack, the best we have right now are mods for PC players or just sticking with the base game. But it does appear that the team has asked for feedback about the Wedding Stories game pack with a survey released to only some players. Now this survey, I think, tells a story about what types of questions the team is asking for DLC. I'll share what the Sims 4 survey reveals and my honest opinion about Sims 4 in 2022 DLC and updates. Before we get started, my name is Simmer Aaron. I cover Sims 4 news, links to CC on my community tab, and of course reviews and patch notes. And my question for you today is what do you think about this survey? So when players say they want challenge in The Sims 4, typically that means for gameplay, not for DLC not working, and trying to find the best mods or even cheats to figure things out. So I really hope that the team makes a statement or maybe releases an emergency patch, because everybody needs it for this game pack, even if you are using Carl's Wedding Mod, which of course we are lucky to have, I still think the team really needs to address this. But that aside, I was very interested when I caught this survey, and I did not personally receive the survey, but I know that sometimes the team does release surveys for only different regions at a time or different players, so I really wanted to see what they were asking in terms of the new wedding pack and if it shows any insight for what happened with the gameplay or what kind of feedback they are looking for. So here is the survey, and this is going to be my live honest reactions, not scripted out whatsoever, because I was afraid that I wouldn't be able to view this again if I viewed it once. So it says, of course, welcome Simmer. Please take this quick survey to share your thoughts with us. How did you become aware of the My Wedding Stories pack? I heard about it on Origin or Steam. I heard about it from a Sim Guru. I saw the official trailers. I received an email announcing the pack. This never happened to me. I read about it in community forums. I saw it featured on the gallery. My friends or family told me about it. I saw an influencer post. I saw a post by The Sims on social media. I saw a message inside the game announcing it. I found it on Google and I found it through the live stream or the official website. Now to be frank with you, I could probably list all of the above, but I'm obviously always paying attention to Sims news. So I would say I would never list that I'd heard about it for Origin. That's probably the last period that I actually look at packs. I just look at it if I'm going to buy it. So I'd say definitely from a Sim Guru. I saw the trailer, obviously. I saw it on community forums. I don't think I really saw it in the gallery. I don't actually frequent the gallery that much. Um, friends and family told me about it. I guess some of my other Simmer friends, but I kind of already knew about it. I've seen influencers post. I've seen the post by social media, etc. So I'm just going to click through a few things and then move on. So it says, what would influence your decision to purchase this pack? Now, obviously, this is kind of a big issue. And actually, I just noticed something that they are listing here. So it almost seems like they are aware of how broken this pack is. And I can't see how they couldn't be. Because if you look right down here, it says a resolution of bugs and crashes. I guarantee you that is number one priority. But let's look at some of the other suggestions. So nothing further, I already plan to purchase, or you could also say, I guess nothing, I won't purchase the pack. Playing with recent scenarios, seeing a trailer or pack gameplay, being able to try the pack before I buy it, which you know they have been doing those basic trials for some older packs. So it'd be really interesting if they did that for newer packs. I never thought they'd consider that, but I think that actually could be really positive. A friend recommending it, seeing positive reviews, seeing what other players create with the pack, Again, resolution of bugs or crashes or the pack going on sale. Now, I imagine a lot of people would also say pack going on sale, but for me, I'm just going to focus on the one thing right now, even though I already have the pack, and that is the resolution of bugs or crashes. So now that I'm seeing how this is worded, I believe that this survey is actually intended for people who have not purchased the pack, so I guess I'm messing up their data, but that would explain at least why I didn't get the survey. So it says, which of the following scenarios have you played with? Power couple, honeymooners, or engaged in conflict? Now, I've got a confession. I've never really cared that much about scenarios, and I have not played with any of these scenarios. Let me know in the comments below, have you played with any of these scenarios? Are you enjoying them? Do you recommend me giving one of these a try? So I'm just going to go ahead and admit that I am a bad simmer, and I have never played with any of those scenarios. Compared to base game weddings, what have you heard about the My Wedding Stories pack weddings? 
While I've both heard about it and I have experienced it firsthand. They are much better. They are somewhat better. They're almost the same. They are somewhat worse. They are much worse. I haven't heard anything about them. Now, I'm just trying to be very honest here. Base game weddings were never fantastic, but they used to at least work. And right now, I would say that the pack gives much worse weddings because it's kind of hard to have a wedding when your sims don't obey any commands and don't do anything that makes sense autonomously. So at least in my experience, they are much worse, and I hope some people that are using the mod now are experiencing better weddings, but for me, just going on the pack alone, they are sadly much worse. And then they actually do have a comment box saying, what else do you want to tell us? So this survey actually could be good if they actually pay attention to it, although I don't know why they need a survey to know that. Of course, there are so many bugs and glitches, but maybe they'll realize that people are pretty upset about this pack, and actually rightfully so. I think sometimes the Sims community kind of exaggerates about things at times. But I don't think that saying that this pack really doesn't work the way it is, is exaggerating. It's just being frankly honest. So what else would you want to tell us? I would basically say you cannot release packs in this broken state. It's completely wrong. It's unethical. If packs are broken, they should be pushed back to a further date. Beautiful assets don't make up for a pack that doesn't work. And if you're on console or just not unable or don't want to use mods, it's not even a recommendation for you. So basically, I'd probably just say, you know, it was a good concept, but it just was executed poorly. And it's such a shame because the world is absolutely gorgeous. I've said this before. I really like the build by. I think there are some strong elements. It's just it didn't come together. And at very least, it definitely needs to work. Sims need to be able to be responsive. And I think the big thing here is you need to make sure that it's very well tested. And if it is still really buggy to the point that people can't do the core gameplay, it needs to not be released. I would have been much happier if they had waited to release this game pack, say even a month out or whatever the heck it took, rather than add more glitches onto our base game. Now, if you haven't seen it already, I did actually cover some of my thoughts about what happened to make the wedding pack work less than even dine out. Another game pack that really is known for its bugs and glitches. So it is great, of course, to see that we have mods for the wedding pack, even if they are not 100% perfect. But the bigger issue is that a game should never rely on modders and CC creators to fix issues. The Sims 4 is supposed to work on a variety of devices, and if you sell it for a platform, it needs to work. That isn't to say I expect absolutely no bugs or glitches, and I understand things might be a little bit harder working from home. I know people don't like when I say that, but I like to kind of acknowledge all the possibilities. But even if it is harder, you still cannot sell a pack that's extremely broken. Especially think about people that are not active on Sim social media. They bought this pack and they might have had no idea how broken it was. Regardless, you should never sell a pack that is not mostly functional and it should have been pushed back. In an ideal world, we'd be discussing the pack as a whole and how it does or doesn't add to the base game. But until they really work on those bugs and glitches and it's working as it should, it's really hard to appreciate what I said some of the positive elements of this game pack are. So I really want Sims to succeed in the future and that's why I am just saying over and over again, this pack is simply not acceptable. It's not a matter of preference, it's a matter of it needs to work. So it'll be really interesting to see if they take any feedback from the survey. Again, I believe this survey was intended for people who have not yet purchased the pack and do not own the pack. It is interesting that there were some targeted questions. Yes, the beginning started with marketing, but they did ask specific things about the wedding pack. And it also makes me wonder, were sales pretty low for this pack? That's just speculation, but the way they were asking it was, how can we get more people to buy the pack? And frankly, I don't think you need a survey to do that. I think it's pretty damn simple. So on that note, I'll let you go. Let me know what you think about this survey, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.